I'm going to discuss generally what systems of linear equations are. And for now, I'm going to hold off on learning methods for solving them. Because I feel it's important to get an understanding of what they are and what they're used for and what they're looking for. Because solving them for them is not very difficult, but they have quite a broad range of applications and in fact an entire branch of mathematics called linear algebra is devoted to studying it. And learning math without being able to see applications for it is useless. So let me begin by generally discussing linear e equations very quickly. A linear equation is an equation in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. And in the past, when I've been solving for linear equations, I've been looking for the set of x's and y's that give a true statement. That is the basis of algebra, really. So when I've been solving for a single equation, I've just been looking for the set of x's and y's that give a true statement. Systems of linear equations are going to be dealing with multiple equations simultaneously. An example might be, just in general form, I have some linear equation a1 of x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. So these are two general linear equations. And for systems of linear equations, that is all I'm going to be looking at for now. It is possible to have other equations besides linear equations but that is not a linear equation. That is an entirely different area of math. That is systems of nonlinear equations. For now, I'm only going to concern myself with linear, linear equations. So now, when I have a system of linear equations, I'm essentially doing the same thing, but I'm looking for the set of x's and y's that give true statements for both of these equations. And that is what linear algebra or the systems of linear equations is really about. Looking for a set of numbers that gives a solution to multiple equations. And I feel the best example for myself is to look at an example, but to look at it graphically first. So I've already written out an example. A very simple example. I have a system of linear equations. So two equations, and I'm looking for the set of x's and y's that give a true statement for both of them. The first one is 2x minus y is equal to 4. I've graphed that one in blue. The second one is 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. I have graphed that one in yellow. And what these graphs represent, so this blue line represents all of the points that give a true statement for this equation. That is what a graph is. It's just a visual representation of all of the points that give true statements. So this line is a representation of all of the numbers that give true statements for this first equation and this yellow line is a visual representation of all of the numbers that give a true statement for the second equation. For a system of linear equations I'm looking for the set of numbers that makes both of these statements true. So let me pick a few points. 
So first of all, let me confirm that this point right here is true for the, well let me start with the first one. So this point 2, 0 is an x-intercept for this blue line. So if I put 2, 0 into the first equation, I get a true statement. 4 is equal to 4. So this is a part of my domain is a is a, is a solution to this line. However, this point does not necessarily mean because it is true for this line won't necessarily be true for the second line. And in fact, if I put in two zero for this line for the second one, I'll do that in a different color. Two times two plus 3 times 0 is equal to 12, 4 is equal to 12. This is not a true statement. And the reason that is is because 2, 0, while it is on this line, it is not on this line. So I, again, this brings me back to what am I looking for originally? What am I looking for? I'm looking for a set of numbers that is true for both of them. That is a solution to the linear, to the system of linear equations. The numbers that are true for both. And a place that they will be true for both is when they both intersect. Because that means at a point of intersection between two lines, any place on this line is, is a correct solution for this line and any place on this yellow line is a correct solution for the second equation. So when they both intersect, that means at that moment, the, both of the statements will be true for the equations. And that point is 3, 2. And I got that by just graphing them, which is a valid way of finding a solution to linear equations, but usually the graphs won't be as easy as these ones where there are whole numbers. But they both intersect at 3, 2. So 3, 2 is a part of this yellow line and 3, 2 is a part of this blue line. So 3, 2 is a solution for both of these lines. So if I put in 3, 2 for the first equation, six minus two, which is equal to four, four is equal to four, which is a true statement. And now if I put in three, two for the second equation, six plus six is equal to 12. 12 is equal to 12 which is a true statement. So the solution to this system of linear equations is 3, 2. And this is how solutions to linear equations are going to be. There generally is going to be only one, but there can also be situations where there are no solutions and there are infinite solutions. But I hope that this will be able to explain it best, these visual representations. In fact, let me make, let me discuss the idea of just lines in general. So a system of linear equations consists of lines. If I have two lines, there are three different things that can happen. 
they can intersect like in the previous example in which case there is one solution they can be parallel lines can be parallel in which case there will be no solutions because these lines will never intersect or there can be infinite solutions blue and yellow makes green I think right yeah where the lines are on top of each other in which case there are infinite solutions and there are special names for each one of these which for now really isn't that important it's not until I start learning about linear algebra and more in-depth areas of these linear equations that these definitions become important. These are said to be consistent and independent. These are said to be inconsistent and when two lines are on top of each other it is also consistent but they are dependent so anytime there is a solution they are consistent and if they are consistent there are only two possibilities either they intersect at one point or they are on top of each other and there are infinite solutions because every solution for x will be have a y and then for the other line those same x's are the same y's because it's the same line and the only time it's inconsistent is when there are parallel lines so that's the basic idea of these systems of linear equations I'm looking for the point where both equations are equal to each other and what are those numbers and for linear equations there's either going to be one point so one solution no solutions where there are parallel lines or infinitely many solutions where the two equations are the same line 